right, what's up guys? So as you can see, got the tail light out. And um, basically I'm just gonna be a quick video on just basically putting in another head tail light. Um, so this is still the factory one. I actually had to pull it out because it was starting to condensate inside of it. So I pulled it out, used the hair dryer to dry out the um, inside lens of it just by um, just by basically popping out the um, the back lights. So you'll have the turn signal in there. You got the reverse light way down there, and then that's one of the LED plugs. LED plug, and then you'll have the LED connector main connector that goes into the car itself um, it's actually pretty easy um, all you gotta do in the trunk you pull off this little tab you basically just pull back on it and then one side will fold out and then basically it's just like a puzzle piece you can just pull the whole thing out and then it'll show you the whole setup for it and then the reverse process is basically the same you just basically put just one side in and then bow in the top, clip it together, and then last pull the back the back piece, and just push it in. And then make sure it's all set right. That's pretty much it though, to get it back in. But so to put this in, all you gotta do is um just grab the tail light and then you go up to the car, slide it in, and just make sure it hooks into this clip right here that way you see it there's a little opening so a little will just slide in basically just slide the light up on into it make sure everything else is in go through the back make sure all the bolt holes are lining up you can see that one's in that one's in those two are in go back out here then you just push it forward just a little bit, make sure it's even with everything, even with all the body lines. And then you're gonna go back in here, and then you're gonna have four 10 millimeter bolts or nuts, I should say. Uh, I'm using a short socket, um, it, it'd be easier if you use the longer one, especially when you have to get up to the back nut, which is up here. So you'll have this one, this one this one and then there's one tucked right here this one's kind of scary when you take the nut out because if the nut falls and you have to start tearing off like the backing and all that but basically you just end up going ahead and throwing the uh the screws onto it or nuts i should say and make sure you don't lose them this, like i said this is this is the scary one because if you drop it, it's like, oh. But, yeah. So, the main reason I have to pull that off is, was, is because it's starting to condensate. The, um, from Hyundai, the actual, the rear seals, apparently when they actually squish against the, um, body of the car, they don't seal it up all the way. And it actually allows water to seep back down through behind and into the trunk with where the spare is so that's kind of an issue so i mean i already talked to hyundai about it hyundai said they would replace the seals and uh, check out the taillights as well to make sure everything is going fine um so if you do have a genesis keep that in mind just tell them even if you are expired from your warranty or if you're a previous person or like a new owner like i am um they actually do with stuff like that, they said they would actually cover it outside the warranty, but it would have to be six months outside of the warranty. Anything past six months, then you would have to fill out basically a paper and submit it to Hyundai um, to see if they would approve it for either like a partial partial payment towards something getting replaced or a full-on paid version. Um, my guess is with it being from Hyundai, an OEM part. I don't know if Hyundai's going to be stingy about it or not. I mean, I don't want to say they aren't going to be stingy, but at the same time, you never really know because with Hyundai and all main dealerships, they like to make their money. They don't like to lose money. So,
I mean, that's that's like that with most most dealerships though. So, but yeah, and then with these, you just tighten them down. Um, don't tighten them too tight because you could actually potentially pull the um, the actual stud out of the plastic housing. So just do it just so it's just about hand tight. And make sure before you tighten them all the way down, make sure all of them are, are pulled pretty snug before you think about um, tightening one all the way down. That way it doesn't favor a side. Just try to tighten them down evenly. And like this end one is always... This end one is the worst one to get to because... You end up banging against the interior, banging against the other side of the interior by the wires. It's going now though. But yeah, this is basically just a quick video showing, showing just like, let's say you did buy replacement taillights and threw them in. This is literally basically the exact same brush you have to go through. All in all, it's really not that bad. It's pretty, um, pretty, pretty basic really with the whole taillight thing. Because I mean, they don't really change much as you go, so... And as you can see, like I keep slipping off because it's basically just at the point of the socket. So using a deep well would definitely benefit you. Just keep in mind once you come close to actually having the nuts off, um, try not to lose them because that would suck fishing them out from behind this. But then after all of them are down, obviously go ahead and plug your connector back in. That would be for the LED light and then you take your insert like i said i'd stick the bottom one in first and then you can tackle the two top ones i just bend it in a little bit and then push the bottom one up a little bit to bend it and then this is still loose so you just pull it back push on it and there you go make sure that guy's all there and that's it and then you got taillight tail back in. But that's going to be it for this video, you guys. So if you do go to end up replacing these or if Hyundai replaces them or if you buy them from Hyundai or get like the spec detuning ones or if you do ever need to go to take it off or put a new one on, quick video on how to do that. Also, if you do have the condensation leak, you could pop the taillights open and then reseal the whole tail light around, around the top and then around the sides with like a flex seal or um, some kind of silicone anything that would basically seal it back up like a clear silicone would work but um, I don't want to go that route because I feel like it'll look kind of ugly but that would basically be it for all that stuff or you could just buy new ones too that would be the faster option but it's going to also be the more expensive option as well. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. i got another video coming up, too. So stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button. And like always, have a good day, guys.